Recently discovered film of the 1898 Rex Parade is a highlight of the Louisiana State Museum's show in the Presbyterian that celebrates the Rex organization's 150th anniversary. The search for the celluloid relic was a decades-long quest. I had heard about this film years and years ago from Arthur Hardy, who was, I think, the first person to discover the existence of this film. You know, we were hoping that it would be out there somewhere. The search started in the late 80s. There were film archives of, of stock footage, newsreels and things like that. Wrote to every one of them. A, you gotta be kidding, this couldn't possibly have been done in 1898. B, if it is, you, you're never gonna find it. After the Rex exhibit opened in 2022, Rex archivist and historian Will French took up the search. I happen to have a friend who's in film preservation, uh, newly hired by the Smithsonian, so that was my first call, Mackenzie Roberts Beasley. It was about 24 hours later that I got a call back from Mackenzie saying that she had located what she thought was going to be a viewable copy of it in Amsterdam. The iFilm Museum of Amsterdam restored the 68 millimeter high quality format film produced by American Mutoscope and Biograph, a company that sent crews everywhere in the late 1800s and circulated films all over the world. The theme of the 1898 Rex Parade was Harvest Queens. All the floats had to do with crops and different products from around the world. My favorite float is pineapples because you can see these giant pineapples on the back of the floats. The men on the float are wearing costumes that have sort of a pineapple look to them. So there's a lot of creativity and even uh, maybe a little bit of humor that you see in this parade. The film presented several mysteries, including bells that appeared in the parade. Before each float, there's a man carrying a placard with a bell on it, and the name of the, of the float uh, is written on the placard. There was no parade in 1875, and this was the 25th parade that Rex had rolled. The silver bells were symbolic of Rex's 25th anniversary, and when we went back and looked at the invitations and, and other artwork from that year, it was clear that silver bells were literally everywhere. For Mardi Gras historians, perhaps the most remarkable aspect of the film is footage of a live bouf gras instead of the paper mache version of today. The bouf gras was a part of the Rex Parade from the very beginning in 1872 and all the way up through 1901. To our astonishment, right here in moving footage is the live bull that was on the back of a float surrounded by handlers, pulled by mules, and he was surprisingly calm. It's interesting to note that at this point in carnival history, riders aren't throwing anything from the floats to the well-attired crowd. People were dressed uh, to the nines, as they say, men in top hats and suits and women, uh, just dressed beautifully, and they weren't going there to catch anything, they were going there to be entertained. You have the people riding on the floats who are teasing the crowd and dancing a little bit. They're really performing in beautiful costumes on the floats. The King's Float is captured majestically in the two-minute clip. The Rex organization is a small organization. The descendants of the people who were shown in that film are still around today. The King of Carnival in 1898 was Charles A. Farwell. So I was able to, to place a call to Charles Farwell's granddaughter, Lynn Farwell White, and she was just so excited to be able to see moving images of her grandfather. One of the things that we realized once we found the film is that it's not only the earliest moving footage of Mardi Gras, it is the earliest moving footage ever captured in New Orleans that still survives today. The film's significance was recognized this year when it was added to a list of the most important movies ever made. I got an email from the curator at the Eye Film Museum sharing with me that the film had not only been nominated, but had been accepted for inclusion in the Library of Congress's National Film Registry. It's more than memorabilia. I mean, it's, it's history as we kind of thought it existed, but now we can, we can really, really see it. It's huge crowds were there just to see the beautiful works of public art on those floats rolling through the streets of New Orleans. That feels good to know that we do it the same way today and that people still love it just as much as they did back then. And in fact, they loved it back then just as much as we love it now.